Hello guys, welcome to Fish Academy. Happy New Year to all of you guys. Yeah, today I want to show you how my seven weeks fish will pick up just two mm feed. This two mm feed prime feed, and uh, it will surprise you that seven weeks fish from the day of ashing can pick up this fish. So these are the fish uh, that are to eat this food. Uh, very very smart, uh, very very agile, very very healthy. You can see how they pick up the food and uh, you might go, uh, wonder why the color is like this i'm going to tell you why the color of the water is like this before the end of this video um this is a food and you see how they pick it uh, so many people have been asking how do i get to know how do i know when my fish are satisfied so many people have been asking me that question and um the answer to it is that once your fish are satisfied you see them not picking the food again is it were to be a floating fish food you see them not picking the food again uh up everything with all the floating up there moving in the surface of the water but if it were to be a sinking fish food it will sink down to the bottom and uh you see the food the the free the food will just remain in the bottom of the of the tank without them picking it then you know that they are satisfied that that you that the fish refuse to eat your food does not mean that uh, maybe they are satisfied at times there is a certain condition that will cause them not to eat your food if the fish are not okay if there is any bacteria the fi your fish won't eat that does not mean that they are satisfied it means that you need to do something very fast in order to get them back to life if not you all lo you, lo you lose all the fish so once your fish are sick they won't eat once the water is polluted they won't eat uh, once they are satisfied they won't eat so your water will keep floating the disadvantage of uh, 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 feeding them over feeding them is that your water will get polluted and um, it will get polluted that is once the food could keep floating on top if the food itself begin to lose its ingredient you know if it were made of uh, 48 uh, pro uh, percent cooked protein it will begin to lose the percentage to the water uh it will uh, the vitamins it will begin to lose the percentage so even if they later pick those ones floating on top it is not of the same quality as it sort ought to be where if they uh, were to pick it immediately you throw them or you pour it into the ashtray so how do you feed your fish you feed your fish you wait you feed you wait you feed you wait so uh once you do that you will not have any issue your fish will grow very very fast and in here water has been flowing in this place for the past uh, seven weeks now seven weeks now water has been flowing the way you are seeing here it has been flowing in 24 hours 247 water have not ceased flowing into this place and it has not also ceased flowing out of this place there has been a complete flow through system for the for the past seven weeks and that is why fish grow faster once your water quality is okay once your water is clean the ph is okay you notice that uh, it is uh, your fish will grow and also when you notice that your fish are somehow white in nature then it might be due to uh, either the acidity or the alkalinity of the water but once your water ph is okay then your fish will be black that does not mean that it is only when water is bad that makes the skin of the fish to be white now if the fish happens to be in a bright place like you put them in a white tarpaulin tank uh white tarpaulin tank i tell you your fish they won't be black the way it ought to be they will be color because they are like chameleon i don't know if you are aware of this catfish are like chameleon when they put you put them into a black container a black gp tank a black tarpaulin tank a dark place you see them turning black immediately within few minutes you see them they will just turn black that is the nature of catfish and you put them in a place that is so bright like so white like the white light you see them your, your skin change even immediately to 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 that to almost that uh, color of the environment so that is just that but it has no effect it has no effect uh so you can see like a hose hose 
there are dark holes i do use it to remove uh, uh debris that is what i use in siphoning and it's it's it's, it's stuck there uh, whenever i want to siphon that is when the fish are little and i notice what i siphon is actually debris but this particular set of fish uh, i didn't do much of siphoning because any food i give them they pick everything they, they eat they eat like they eat too much man so when you want to siphon all you need to do is just to tie your hose to a stick so you don't stress yourself much then you move the mouth of the hose towards uh towards where the debris are gathered like maybe they are dumped or they are maybe the, the maybe you spawn and the some of the eggs are then ash out and and um, you just remove them out but i want to tell you this thing also this is another secret once after spawning and you've ash your fish you don't need to care about removing all the bad eggs you don't you don't you don't need to care about once there is a complete flow through system and your water is very very clean i tell you those uh, remaining bad eggs if they are not much we have no effect on the fish rather the fish will pick up those uh, stuff so this hose this hose uh, this is where the i do discharge it from if i want to uh, remove those debris i suck it from here and it comes out i'm not doing that today i'm just showing you guys so this is my ashtray for those that have been following me and these are my tank and uh, i've been selling fish from here right here i still have some of some fish inside although there are few uh, someone has uh, is for someone a few fish and uh, that is how people have done in here also this is where i save some of my fish food the food i want to feed them maybe for that like maybe the day or like two days i store the food here in order for rats not to get inside or to to destroy the bags or to eat the food so even if any rat that jump inside will not be able to jump out and i if, if i should catch any rat then then i turn it to to fish food very very good uh, protein for fish uh so this is the water this water is not dirty it's transparent if you can see under you can see beneath the tank this is the tank that do supply and this is kakaban i'm going to show you guys how to prepare kakaban a clean meat uh, 